What is going on everybody? The Ruckus Crawler here, aka The Rolling Stoner. And I mean, there's no point in doing surprises because, you know, it's in the title of the video and the thumbnail anyways. We got ourselves a freaking Miller Rock Racer RC four wheel drives and I am freaking stoked. So this is the unboxing and the review test run here of our RC four wheel drive Miller Rock Racer. Let's get it out of the box. <laughs> so there we go. It is out of the box and would you freaking look at that. Look at that. We even got a little driver going here. So yeah, I am pretty stoked on this one. As soon as it was announced, I just, I got all excited. Oh yeah, I was going to take off some body panels, but I mean, there's a lot of people out there with in-depth reviews. Let's just go over the box here. As you can see, it does come with an amazing, um, bell housing so the transmission actually looks like a real transmission and you get a nice little v8 capper to go on top of that brushless motor and rtr good to go 10 scale so they say i also brought of course the capra out the good old capra so you get a little comparison side by side it's kind of funny to see like 10 scale i don't know i don't know what these scales are all about you line up the back wheels and boom this thing is quite a bit bigger like quite a bit bigger <laughs> and I'm freaking stoked like jeez these trailing arms and the limiting straps the suspension the roll cage all of it it's got a sweet interior got my battery packs here so this is what we run in the Capra it's 3600 kV and then this is the one that we put on the base camp it doesn't quite fit in the Capra but I assure you I've test fit them and both of these batteries fit perfectly inside here which is a little compartment right there nice and easy and uh it actually comes with an on off switch too what ba boom you know we like to take our brakes on the trail so it's gonna be real nice when we stop and just pop that off and of course if you see any of the other rcs i have i get my mickey thompson baja pros for everything and damn they're quite a bit bigger so again these scales are both 2.2 tires but <laughs> Look how much bigger these Mickey Thompsons are going to sit on here. So unfortunately, I don't have the wheels in yet. So I don't know if I'm going to muck around. I might see if they'll fit the stock feed locks, but I don't know. We'll see. And uh, we do have our first casualty when I open up the box. The air filter came out. And uh, easy enough, it snapped right back on. But to be honest, I'm glad it came off now because it definitely would have came off going down the trail. So I am going to super glue that on. Another thing worth mentioning is lots of people have had the little stoppers on the end here. Just this little plastic cap come off here. So I'm going to try and pop those off and uh, super glue these on as well so we don't lose those going down the trail. Other than that, from what I gather from other people's YouTube videos, this thing is pretty much good to go and have some fun. So this is more of a trail running channel than a, uh, you know, technical, I, I can't remember nothing. I'm just a silly stoner. There's lots of reviews out there if you want to know all the technical stuff. I mean, all the information's online. All you gotta know is this thing is freaking gorgeous. It's scale, it flexes. We already tested it in the living room and that two-speed transmission is, wow! So, I don't know, I'm gonna have to look into all of these freaking buttons. You got freaking channel four is like center and then it goes all the way back. Like, I don't know, it's, it all has to do with the two-wheel drive, the four-wheel drive, the front lockers, the rear lockers. I don't know for sure. I think there might be a dig even in here. So we definitely got some looking into to do that. But once you check this out for a bit, we'll see you all outside on the trail. So yeah, <laughs> we'll see you guys there. Hopefully we'll have Kat with us with the Capra. She's upgraded from the base camp. Won't be sweetie with Ragamuffin. It'll be sweetie with the Capra and yeah. We got Evil Ash and his girlfriend driving the Capra. So boom, we got Ash himself, the man, Bruce Campbell to drive the Miller Rock Racer. So we'll plop him in the driver's seat. We'll super glue a couple things on. And uh, yeah, we'll see you out on the rock. Welcome everybody to the trail run portion. 
of this Miller Motorsport Rock Racer RC four wheel drive madness. So it's actually been a few days now since the unboxing video. The day after, unfortunately, I couldn't get off work early enough and uh, got out here when the sun was going down. So I got to play around a little bit. It was pretty sweet, pushed it a little too hard, but was having a good time and all. And then all of a sudden I did lose power to everything, or sorry, not everything, to the motor. The uh, servos were still working. I could still move the tires, but I lost all that power. And from what a friend was telling me is running all those servos, because when you have your rig fully locked, it's just holding, like the servos are holding the whole time. So I need to get a BEC to help with the amperage and then that won't be an issue anymore so easy enough i mean i don't just do trail running i like to do rock crawling so we got to adjust the rig accordingly and yeah we got those mickey thompson baja pros on the stock wheels looking mighty fine uh we lost a bunch of our steering radius fair enough they're bigger tires but when my aftermarket wheels come in with little hex extensions Doo -doo. yeah we'll get a bit of our steering pack oh yeah so right now we are just an open rear wheel drive because these are options we have that's another thing i've heard from people online too is the steering servos when you have your lockers engaged are holding the whole time so they work really good right now but just something to keep keep mindful of someone like myself that's going to spend a lot of time fully locked crawling rock might be a good idea to upgrade those servos sooner than later already have plans to get a fusion two in one put in there clean it up a bit give us some more low-end torque oh look at that which way do we want to go i gotta figure this out Whoa, like second gear madness. So it's pretty good for 1200 kV. Two speed. The scoots. Ooh. Scoots into that. Look at that. Okay, so let's. So that's four wheel open, open. Oh, no, it didn't engage. There we go. I think I heard it. No? So that one was acting kind of funny earlier. No, still not getting it. Shotgun, hey dude, what you doing bud? Shotgun, he's always trying to be the center of attention. Freaking guy, he's on new Miller rock racer out of the box. So yeah, we do got it in open open. That's not quite enough, let's see. Let's get some lockers going. So that should be full lockage. No, it's not locked up front. That's the thing too, I bet you it just needs... No, it's not locking in the front. It's locked in the rear. The rear is locked. All right, let's try this one more time. I think we got it sorted out here. Oh yeah, I get that. Boom. I had faith in the Miller Rock Racer. Uh, so yeah, what it is, um, I just gotta adjust the cable that engages the front locker. So I was able to manually just push it down and get those lockers to work. But I need to just, I just need to pull in the slack a bit. Easy enough, maybe when we take a break in a bit, I'll do it or later on, we'll see. Seems to be working pretty good now. Nice, here we go. I don't know, dare we put it in second gear and race up here? I don't really know what's around these corners. Here's something. Ooh. Look at that. I threw it. Fully lost, no problem. So pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. I am pretty stoked on this. Like anything, I mean I used to break the capra 
almost every time. I actually almost gave up on 10 scale altogether and just focused on the 24s because the calf really is frustrating me so much, but I stuck with it, got it dialed in, and now the capper is actually one of my favorite rigs. So I have a feeling we'll be able to do the same with this. It's just that steering radius. I mean, I guess we're full lock. You lose a bunch of your steering, so that's fair enough too. Look, we got a driver going on in there. Mr. Ash from Evil Dead. Oh, yeah. No problem. Whoa! Oh, definitely do. You break it some stuff with the second gear. Holy, that's fun. <laughs> it goes. That's fully locked too. Probably shouldn't be doing that. Let's uh. That should be just the rear lock. Yeah, that's what we want for ripping trail. Boom. I mean, the steering radius is my fault putting those Mickey Thompsons on just like that. But we'll get that sorted out soon enough. section. Let's check it out. Let's go, shotgun, let's go. Yeah, so here we go. Hey, pal, can we get going? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, let's we'll just continue back on the trail. Good times. Yeah, I am pretty stoked on this, I gotta say. What an awesome platform to be getting given here. So much scale detail. It's such a sweet rig to play around with. Some modifications and upgrades. This thing's gonna be a beast. Definitely want to go for like a crawling bouncer. But basically, I want it to be a true rock racer. I want it to be able to handle the abuse and do basically everything. Crawling, racing, fashion. I mean, it's doing pretty good so far, gotta say. Gotta say. Good. We are fully locked right now. I mean, it's to be given. It's to be given. Yeah, we are true off road now. We're not even on the trail. Pretty sweet. Oh, oh. nice. We can do it. Oh. Nothing over a tree, even. Nothing over a tree. So this is definitely a keen spot to come to for some snow wheeling if we do get snow this year. It's been pretty mild winter so far, but it's getting chilly. It's definitely getting chilly. Woo! Yeah, I got that thing go. 
pretty awesome. How are we gonna be able to get out of here? Let's go over here. There's this all in low range too, if you really want to do it, you can bash through it all. I am full lock though, so we can just fight in with those Mickey Thompsons. Wow, we threw the ferns and back on the trail we go. Get it unlocked. Yeah, put it back in. Two wheel open. You know what? Does it work two wheel rear? Yeah, drift mode. I gotta need some practice at that, but we do got a rough drifter. <laughs> yeah, that oversteer though. So yeah, I mean, yeah. What can I say? Basically right out of the box. I mean, I played around a little bit with the stock tires. Nothing against them. Oh. I just, I love those Mickey Thompson Baja Pros. What can I say? They're on almost everything I have. <laughs> so yeah, other than that, it's big bone stock. Boy, this is a lot of fun. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. That two speed, woo, two speed rear locks. Oh yeah. Oh, I don't want to break anything, but you know what? It's kind of hard when you're having so much fun not to. Oh, oh. We get the rear open. Oh yeah, look at that. Rear open, get you out, and then back to the two wheel, back to the fun. Whoa. Yeah, so, fuck yeah. Miller Motorsports, RC four wheel drive, rock racer. Pretty damn happy with this one. Got some pretty big plaids. I want to give it away. Look for a little bit here, we won't see it for a little bit. And then when it comes back, it'll be evolved. So stay tuned for that, but we'll, we'll get some more fun on the trails with it before that happens. So yeah, I don't know. I guess I won't bring it back to the bench for a final thought. The final thought is it's freaking sweet. If you abuse it and bash it, like I'm going to, you're gonna break stuff. I mean, that's guaranteed. That's gonna happen with anything. But uh, I'm sure with some upgrades and some treating it right, you know, <laughs> it's gonna be a great rig. An amazing rig, pretty much a taken over the Capra rig. So yeah, stay tuned for more footage. Thank you all for coming and checking this out. Be good to yourselves, be good to each other and get out there, get on some rock, get on some trail, just get RC in. Till the next time y'all, peace. everybody the ruckus crawler here aka the rolling stoner and if you haven't already please hit that subscribe hit the like on this video leave us a comment comments are always welcome and if you're thinking to yourself damn ruckus what the hell are you wearing there that is one badass shirt well we got ourselves some merchandise so if you're interested in the shirt 
please leave a comment below or email me at the ruckus crawler at gmail.com uh, forty dollars shipped anywhere in north america if you're outside of north america just let me know we'll figure out what the shipping difference is and we'll get it out to you i also got stickers of the same design so we'll do ten dollar sticker pack so yeah please if you want to help support the channel this is a direct way you get yourself a badass shirt and any bit of profit will be going straight into the crawlers so yeah